Welcome back to HD Racing and to Forza Horizon 5 once again. I'm back here because I just want to have some fun today and I also want to talk a little bit about some things regarding the channel and that's a lot easier if you're not doing races online against other people. So another reason why I'm back in Forza Horizon 5. And that's one thing I want to talk about, so the content that's gonna come in the coming weeks and months, and also what my plans are regarding videos, live streaming, and some other things. So stay tuned if you're interested. And what we're gonna do today is something I've neglected to do for way too long. As you can maybe tell if you've played Forza Horizon 5, I am in the Rally expansion, or the DLC. I, shame on me, haven't played that yet. So today we are going to do that. Um, as you can see, the map is completely unexplored. So we are just gonna go to the first race and just see what this is about. I've seen it a little bit. Um, actually, my girlfriend played this already. Uh, I haven't. So yeah, I really need to get to this. Um, I, I don't know why. Just uh, when it came out was, was a time where I was busy with other things. And then it never really was a thing that um, was that important to me that I wanted to do it. There was always something else going on. So yeah, I really ne neglected this. So today I'm changing that. And well, let's see here. Okay, I know this kind of. So we are starting off in the race in kind of rally style. You can later also just do it in the normal race format that Forza Horizon does. And yeah, okay, you can choose here if you have the racing line on or off. Well, let's do it off. It's more challenging, it's recommended. Rally driving line. Oh, okay, it's a different driving line here. Because I think we will have these uh, rally markers um, like we're used to. Like I also played Dirt Rally 2.0, for example, where you just get the, the call outs for the corners and yeah, all that stuff. So we're just gonna see what that is like. And apparently, we're driving this little Ford Focus RS. That's interesting. It wasn't a choice for that. So actually see my difficulty settings here set to pro at them i think we're gonna go down to expert don't want to make it too hard on myself it's probably gonna be enough challenge for me um all right and then yeah let's just start the race and see what this is about and let's see okay there are the corner call outs already i mean you also have the mini map which is a big, big benefit uh, compared to something like Dirt Rally. But still, I think I'm a little rusty on Forza Horizon, so... Not gonna be all too easy, but let's see. Don't have anything to compare against, but I think there are split times at some point. So we're gonna talk a little bit more about the future of the channel, what my plans are for the coming weeks and months, both content-wise, what games I'm gonna play, and oh, what interesting things I might have in store for you. I don't want to spoil too much yet, but there will be stuff happening. I want to do more with the channel, um, but yeah, we're gonna get to that a little later. I think I'm gonna focus on racing for now. All right. Well, that was a little bit too much speed for that corner. Right. These callouts are left. kind of late, I feel like, compared to something like Dirt Rally. Uh, no, left. we actually aren't first, and I probably shouldn't look there because now I crashed. Right. Let's try and focus up. And also the callouts are just very basic. I mean, for people that don't have any clue what rally callouts are about, it's then like five rides, uh, over crest, uh, all these. Yeah, I mean, it's it's super difficult if you understand what it means, but it's probably a good idea to do it like this. A little bit of handbrake here. So far. Pretty enjoyable, I have to say. I love rally. I have to say it's something that I don't do often enough. It's 
different for sure than the stuff that we usually do, which is circuit racing, but... Oh, didn't see that was going more towards the right. Luckily there's no damage in this. I mean, I could enable it, but uh, I don't think I will. Right. I like that this is not super short. Like, it's still kind of short, but it for Forza Horizon game, this is a decently long race. As I said, something, this expansion that I really should have taken a look at way, way earlier. But just haven't been able to get around to it all. Yeah, we'll just prioritize other things over this, both in gaming and in real life. Oh, what? Moment still first. Let's see if we can keep that. That's a lot of asphalt, actually, I have to say, but... Ah, still. It was a fun stage. I hope this continues this way. Um, I definitely want to do this more. I'm not quite sure how long this will take to fo uh, finish this whole thing. And I actually didn't manage to get first. Efficiency, obviously. Come on, man. You took my first place away. Uh, it's always nice in the Forza games if you have um, people you know in the driver charts. Okay, so we've got another race coming up. So, yeah, that's, uh, let's talk about the first thing. So, I was thinking about what I want to do in the future in terms of games. And I've decided I don't want to do only sim racing. So, be that Forza Motorsport, which hardly qualifies as proper sim racing for some people. More of a sim gate. I will probably still do that. Um, but maybe dial that down a bit. Uh, it's not gonna be like my main deal anymore. Um, ACC for more of the sim racing stuff. I will do that. Um, maybe not as much racing content. That depends on what I feel like. Um, I will still try to do some more educational stuff on that. I think that is the content that works the best for a lot of viewers and also, well, that I... In quite enjoy doing so so yeah educational stuff uh, discussions and all that kind of stuff that's probably gonna be that in that area and then also which is why i'm here in forza horizon i want to do more fun stuff like this forza horizon so let's get into our next rally race here um I'm not quite sure what kind of content I want to do on Forza Horizon. I'm definitely going to play it more. It really depends on what is interesting to me to show you and what then also resonates with you, the viewers. Um, so, oh, interesting. Going with the Baja Beetle. Um, so let's start this up. Um, what I think I want to do, um, and that's uh, one of the announcements I wanted to make here, I want to do or at least try to do live streaming again. Uh, come in September, it's not that long anymore. Um, I want to try to start that back up. I'm looking right now at the time slot on Fridays at like r around noon my time. So that's uh, GMT plus one, I think, uh, CEST uh, right now. So Central European summer time. Um, I I'm not 100% sure on that yet. Uh, I might also do like a short stream there and then maybe another one on the weekends. Um, but I won't be able to do that all the time. Um, I'm, I'm still figuring that part out, but I want to do live streaming again. So hopefully that's something you're interested in and that's something that well, you will be able to join and I know with such a global audience that I have time zones can the time zones can be kind of difficult so um, it's we will see like maybe I will try to provide more different time slots so that more people can at least from time to time join in with the streams um, I also need to figure out um, what I want to do there so um, as I said Forza Horizon is a game that I definitely want to stream because it's just fun 
and you can just have a great time still interact with chat uh, which i find very difficult to do when doing racing both on forza motorsport and acc it's even worse there for me uh, i get distracted way too much and then the racing is bad and then i uh, that's not that fun i will still try to do that from time to time but it's not gonna be like the main thing but time will tell i guess so as i said still gonna do sim racing content on youtube um, there might still be races both forza motorsport and acc but i also want to do more with forza horizon because i just enjoy this and i need this as an additional thing to just have some fun uh, in addition to the for me more like taxing sim racing stuff i uh, almost wanted to say stressful it's not always stressful it can be frustrating and it can be taxing like it's it's a very uh, i'm pr pretty sure you also uh, experience this can be very mentally taxing and most of the time i do that stuff after work and well i'm already quite mentally uh, strained at that point so it can sometimes lead to me just not enjoying it as much because it's just too much on my brain at that moment um, so sometimes I just like to go into something like this and just have some fun and relax. But yeah, that's one thing I wanted to talk about. Um, the other thing, I'm not quite ready yet to spoil that completely, so I'm gonna tease it a little bit. Even though that's a little bit of a teaser of a teaser. Um, look for a video probably next weekend where I will... Well soft announce uh, something that i plan on doing it will have something to do with you my community and with multiplayer um, i have a little bit of an idea and have something uh, planned there or am in the process of planning that and well there are a couple of things that i still need to get in order there and well, once again only second here so probably is the correct um, difficulty for me here so i can will definitely have a challenge here um but yeah that's um on my teasing front here i'm not not gonna spoil much more uh, as i said probably next week there will be a video explaining that a little more what my idea is and what what i'm working towards it's gonna take a little bit of time but i hope um you will enjoy that um and once again that will have something to do with forza horizon and i think it will be something quite fun uh, but yeah, I'm not gonna say any more for now. No, I realize I'm, I'm talking over a bunch of uh, the dialogue here, but um, I guess that's for now fine. It's actually, why am I driving on the road? We are in Forza Horizon. Let's go. Um, um, I wanted to go off-road. Um, we are... Kind of. I think I'm stuck. Okay, let's reset the car. Uh, uh, let's maybe stay on the road. Okay, okay. I will go off-road a little in a bit. Um, but yeah, first experience of this DLC is what I expected. This is quite fun. Um, let me know if you've played this already. Um, what you think? But yeah, in my opinion, this is quite great, and it's also amazing that all these trees can be knocked down. So. I would play Illuminator here, if you've seen the video that I did uh, like two weeks ago or something where I played Illuminator. Trees are always such a hassle there and to have, I, I mean I'm not quite sure if, if every tree here is that way but, oh, cliff, yeah I was thinking that, <laughs> oh it worked, um, but having all the trees be destructible is kind of nice. In general, I, I like the look of this world, and the rally stages so far look quite fun. And since you can also do the normal races here, if you want, that's also nice. So, yeah, I, I'm quite enjoying this already, like I imagined I would. So, yeah, I'm happy to get back to this. So, this might be something that I will do more in streaming. Oh, what's this? Um, might also do this in videos. Oh, there's some kind of a dam, it seems like. So, we need to go around, I guess. Um, so yeah, I'm not 100% sure if this is gonna be in videos, or in live streams, or maybe if there's just not much interest in this, um, maybe 
either people are not interested in seeing this or have played it themselves already, then it's also totally fine. I can also just play this on my own time and not do uh, content on that. Uh, it all depends. Um, I'm definitely open to your feedback there. So let's see. Let's maybe do this one more race and see. Oh, and we are in the Audi S1. This is going to be a lot faster, um, unless it's not tuned all that high, but I think I will need to concentrate a little bit more here. Well, S1, 827. Okay, let's start this up. Um, but yeah, I think I've talked about all the things I wanted to tell you. So what games I'm going to play, as I said, it's going to be variety of racing, both arcade and sim racing. I want to do all of that, basically. Oh, I really should have pushed the brake a little earlier here. Um, and yeah, live streaming is going to make a return. I hope I can uh, make that work. Um, so I can't promise that I will do live stream every week, but I will try to. And maybe if that works out and I find a little bit of a rhythm there, then it will also be a little bit more often. We'll see. Yeah, medium right. Thank you. That was a little late. So I should probably just take a look. It's also with the wet road conditions are not making this easier. And oh, I kind of missed where I was going there. So yeah, um, talked about the games I want to play, talked about live streaming, which is going to make a return. And then also did my teaser of the teaser. Um, then I have something more planned. To do with you the community and yeah i will I, I hope you will enjoy that and yeah look for a video for that next week where i will talk a little more about what i have planned and what i'm doing to achieve that and hopefully might not be might not happen in september but i'm definitely aiming for october to get that started so but now in enough teasing of the teasing uh, Let's maybe try and focus on the rest of this race and not talk as much because I've noticed even here in Horizon talking and driving at the same time is a little more difficult than I would have imagined, I have to say. Okay, long straight here, we're gonna pick up a lot of speed. And still with these wet conditions, this is going to be interesting. Alright. More like a chicane here. Almost at the finish line. Alright, can I maybe get a first place this time? Or have I been denied again? Let's see here. Right, finally a uh, first place finish. That's nice. So, maybe improved a little my driving, or maybe it was just luck. Uh, definitely can drive better, and I want to get better again at Forza Horizon as well. Haven't played it much in the last couple of months, or even like the last year, I would say. So yeah, I definitely want to do that again. So yeah, gonna play this more. Uh, it all depends if I'm gonna show more of this, if you like this kind of content. I know I started my channel on Forza Motorsport, which is sort of in between the sim racing, which I'm also doing, and Forza Horizon because it's more of a sim Kate title, but it's still the, the circuit racing, uh, while this is, well, a lot more arcade-y. Um, but I think a lot of people... Um, okay, do I have another choice? I don't, so we can't just pick this. Um, so yeah, a, a lot of people, I think, still play these kind of things, and I totally know why, because this is just way more relaxing and a lot of fun, and yeah. I always enjoyed Forza Horizon, played it since Forza Horizon 3, and, well, yeah, enjoyed that, enjoyed Forza Horizon 4 even more, probably gonna do a video on that in the coming weeks or months as well, because that game actually has been 
well, or will be delisted uh, at the end of the year. So um, just to let you know already, um, if you still want to buy Forza Horizon 4, it's not going to be available for much longer, sadly. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do a separate video on that in the future. But I think for this one, I'm pretty happy. Um, we have done the first couple of races. I might do more in a future video or in a live stream, as I said. Let me know what you think um, of my plans, both in terms of the types of content I want to make, the games I want to play, and the live streaming part. Um, yeah, I'm definitely open to your feedback and what you want to see, um, so I can incorporate, incorporate that in my plans. But I don't want to ramble on for much longer here. I want to thank you a lot for watching. I've been HG Racing. See you in the next one.